Hello, this is a video to show you how to make a chart or a graph using the Google Sheets app on your iPad. Uh, specifically, uh, these types of graphs that we're going to make today show the relationship between X and Y. And we're going to make a line graph or a scatter plot graph um, in Google Sheets. So let's open Google Sheets, and I already have a table made. Uh, so this is looking at the relationship between time and temperature. Uh, in, the, in this experiment, we uh, heated ice water until it boiled. Uh, and we took the temperature every minute. Uh, so I want to make a graph using this table, this data, uh, 0 through 30 minutes with all of my temperature readings. So what I want to do is um, click on the cell 1A in the upper left-hand corner, and then I want to drag the highlight down to highlight my entire table. Okay. Notice that I've only highlighted um, cells with numbers in them. And so I don't have any blank cells, and I've only highlighted my table. So now, to make a chart in the app, I need to click on the plus button in the upper right-hand corner of the screen. So I click on the plus button, and this is going to bring up a drop-down menu, and I want to click on chart. So I click on chart. All right, and um, I'm actually really glad that it, it did it in this way. So this is not a very good graph, because it's actually turned... Uh, the data time and the data temperature into two separate line graphs. And that doesn't make sense because we want to see the relationship between X and Y. Um, you know, what is the temperature at time zero? What is the temperature at five minutes, right? And we can't see that with this graph. So this is what's called a line chart in um, in Google Sheets. And so what I, what I, how I can change this is on the right-hand side of the screen where it says type line chart. If I click on that, um, I can change from a line, well, I can choose different types of line graphs, but you can see that these line graphs don't make sense. They don't show the relationship between X and Y. So I need to scroll down and find the scatter graph. And if I click on the scatter graph, now this is going to show every single data point uh, from the table. And we can see that we start at time zero and uh, move to 30 on the X axis. So that's a great graph, except my axes aren't labeled. So what I need to label my axes. So I'm going to hit the back arrow next to the word type, all right, and then go back uh, to this main chart menu, okay? Now, I want new titles. So I'm going to click on the word titles. It's going to open up a drop-down menu. And I, want to, I always want a title on my graph or on my chart. So I'm going to start with that. Um, I'm going to click on chart title, and I'm going to give this graph a name. Now, I like to name my graphs um, X versus Y right? And not actually X versus Y, but what X and Y represent on the graph. So X, along the X axis, we have uh, time. And so I'm going to write time versus, and on the Y axis, we have temperature. So I'm going to write time versus temperature. And then I'm going to click update the title. And so now I have a title at the top of my graph, time versus temperature. Okay, so now I need a horizontal axis title. Well, horizontal is a, so actually I, I could show that a little better. I'm going to click on horizontal axis title. Now, a horizontal axis is the x-axis. And along the x-axis in this graph, we have time. So I'm going to write the word time. And I want to let the reader know how I measured the time, the units that I used. So I'm going to write the word minutes. So time in minutes in parentheses, and I'm going to click update title, and you can see at the bottom of my graph, I have a label, time in minutes, right? The last thing I need to do is label my um, Y axis. So if you accidentally came back to this chart menu, I'm clicked on titles, and now I'm going to click on left vertical axis title. Um, and that is going to label my Y axis. And on my Y axis for this graph, I have temperature. So I'm going to write the word temperature. And again, I want to let my reader know the units that I used to measure. So I'm going to write degrees and it, it changed my misspelling there, which is good. And I'm going to write degrees C in parentheses. So temperature in degrees Celsius. I'm going to click update title and you can see now that my Y axis is labeled. So I have a graph with all of my data points. I have a title at the top of the chart. And both my X and Y axes are labeled with the units. So it's really easy for my reader um, to, to understand my data and understand what each access means. Okay, so I'm going to click the check mark in the upper left-hand corner because I'm done with my graph. Um, 
And now my graph is back in my Google Sheet. So I've made my graph. I'm going to click that green check mark in the upper left hand corner again. And now I know that my graph is in my Google Sheet. My graph is done. So you could share this with your teacher. You could screenshot this and submit it in Canvas. Or you could, you know, um, um, link this Google Sheet in Canvas or however else you need to turn this in. So I hope this helps. Uh, let us know if you have any questions.